T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0, and Hi everyone, welcome back to Kids AM on Space Star Live. My name is Leah. Today we are drawing uh, an astronaut in the space station. We know that there's no gravity in space and so we thought we would draw an astronaut who's floating around and turning around in circles and saying hello to the camera so that they can say hello to their friends on Earth. So I have a friend today, her name is Lori, and she's joining me over Zoom, and she's over here on my laptop, so I'm gonna say hello. Hi, Lori. Hi, Leah. How Did you know that astronauts float in space? Yes, I knew that because there's not much gravity in space. Exactly, there's zero gravity. We're drawing like this girl in the space station, which is in space. She's floating in the space station, and there's not much gravity in space, so she's floating. Would you want to be an astronaut one day? No. Because <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to go away from my family. That's a good reason, because they have to go away for a long, long time when they go, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. And I don't want to get hit by an asteroid. Oh my goodness, that would be terrible. I don't think that would happen, but it's a good reason not to want to go. It's a dangerous job. Yeah, it is. Did you know there's lots of different jobs that you can do on the ground and on Earth that can help people go to space? No. Yeah, like you could do maths and science to learn how to send them up to the space station, how to build rockets or satellites or... Oh! So you can be involved even though you don't actually go yourself. Oh, cool. Do you like maths? Yeah, I do. Yeah, so see, one day you could be like an engineer who yeah. would build something that could go into space. Then you could still be a part of it and not have to leave your family. Yeah. So we're gonna draw um, a girl astronaut um, who is flipping upside down in space because when that happens then her hair stands straight up like this. So instead of having, instead of drawing her hair falling down this way, we're gonna draw it up in the air. Does that sound like fun? Uh, yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna um, tell you what to draw on your page and then we'll go to it. Okay, I'll show you mine as we go. Is that okay? Yeah. So I'm gonna draw it so that it's long ways like this. Oh, okay. I had mine sideways, so I'm gonna draw mine long ways. Okay, sounds good. How about we draw her face in? So you can turn your page if you want. So say her face is going this way. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So then do eyes, however you like to do eyes. It doesn't really matter. And a nose. I'm gonna give her a nose. And then I think she'll be waving at the camera to Earth. So I'm gonna give her a big smile like this. And then how about some ears? Yeah. Can I see what yours looks like? Oh, amazing. Really good. Okay, how about we do her body next? Can we do a body? Yeah. Going this way. Do you have room to do her body? Yeah, I have room. Okay, so do like a little neck. And then some lines on the side for her shoulders. And then her arms, like she's waving. So I'll show you how I do. And then go down and up, like a V. And then on the other side, we'll do another V the other way. We'll draw her arm goes like that. Good. 
good job. And then her body can go two straight lines down here. And then we'll give her some trousers, okay? Okay. And we have her leg bent like that, both of them. It's like uh, two, three bendy lines. I did it. Good job. And give her some socks. They don't wear shoes in space either very often because they don't have to go outside. And I thought it would be funny when we color it in to make her wear crazy socks. So you can do yeah. different designs. Okay, I think what's missing? Her fingers. <laughs> Should we draw fingers? Yeah. I'm not the best drawer of hands, so they kind of look like gloves. Finished. Good job. Maybe she has like a special badge. Yeah. That has her name on it. So we'll put a little rectangle. So now the fun part. Her hair in space would fly up this way. So instead of going down, we're going to make it go up. Does she have straight hair or curly hair? Uh, curly hair. Curly hair. Okay, good. Good. Done. Ooh, can I see yours? Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. I love the curls. Now we're gonna draw a background for her, okay? Because okay. she's gonna be in the International Space Station. The International Space Station has lots of gadgets on the walls, like candles so that they can grab up and not fly away. Lots of computer screens so they can read different information to do their science experiments. What we'll do is draw like a hatch the door to the space station. See it's round. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Can you draw lines like that at the top? And then maybe there's like a latch that she can open the door with, like that. Okay. Done. And I'm gonna draw some extra lines so it shows sort of like a corridor. Can you do that? See how I did one more line on the outside there? And then this is sort of like a long corridor for them, so. How about some things on the walls, like yeah. buttons? Buttons and screens? Yeah. So just draw a bunch of circles and squares. Okay. See my buttons? Oh, cool. You can decorate all around however you want with all kinds of buttons and things that might be hanging off of the side. They um, they use a lot of Velcro. Do you know what Velcro is? Yeah, I know. That's like how you stick your shoes together. They use a lot of Velcro on the station because things will fly away if they don't stick them down. Does she look like she's floating? Yeah. Yeah, she does. Okay, so how about we cut, do some coloring? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's color it in. I'm gonna give her polka dot socks because I think that would be funny. I like how um, there's like a space station so they can do lots of work when they're in space. Yeah. Because it's kind of cool. Because they get to do work in space. It's kind of cool, like there's spatial and stay. Space, M when mommy first told me about it, I was like, no, there's no such thing as that. <laughs> <laughs> but now I think there is something like that. Did you know there's lots of videos that you could watch of them working in space? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> 
you go on YouTube. I have watched a little bit of one. It's just like a bit of a rocket going back down. Uh, I really like how well they can work in space and I didn't really know there was lots of Velcro because it's kind of cool that pencils and scissors and stuff can stick to Velcro. I know. It's clever, isn't it? Yeah. You have to get very creative when you're not in a environment that you're used to. What I'm excited to see is once this is finished, what it looks like. Did you have fun drawing your space lady? Yes, I had lots of fun. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for joining me today. Aw, it was a pleasure. Can I see your picture? Oh, I love it. It's amazing. Yours is good as well. I like yours. Thank you. I really like all your buttons. So thanks for joining us today on Kids AM. Be sure to, to like our video and subscribe to our channel. If you do a portrait or picture of um, an astronaut floating in space, we'd love to see yours. And you can use the hashtag of Kids AM or Space Store Live and have your parents help you take a photo of it and I put it on. I would like to see it too. Oh, I see. Lori would like to see it too. So. We can add them to Instagram or Facebook, and you can post yours up online. Thanks again for joining us, and thank you, Laurie, for coming and drawing with me. And thanks for um, you guys to come and do this video with us. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.